The Clayman Institute for Gender Research at Stanford University, creating a more equal society for women and men through data-driven research and public education. My research focuses on the exposure people have to the indoor environment um, and the outdoor environment to air pollutants. Uh, my interests are in where people are and what they're doing when they're exposed to the highest amounts of air pollutants. For this particular talk, what I focused on is whether there are gender-related differences in a person's exposure to air pollutants because of differences men versus women uh, might have in how they spend their day. What I found was that women tend to spend more time at home, especially in the kitchen, even if they work. Uh, men tend to spend a little more time outdoors, more time at their job, and more time uh, commuting between work and home. And so because of that, men are exposed a little longer each day to outdoor air pollutants, whereas women are exposed much more substantially to whatever pollutants are in their home. Outdoor pollutants, many of them come from motor vehicle exhaust. Uh, in the indoor environment, the major pollutants are pollutants that are emitted inside. And so these would be things like um, home care products you use that release volatile gases into the air. And it would also involve um, activities going on indoors that resuspend dust and particles into the air, like cleaning. Uh, the EPA focuses on outdoor pollutants, and so the average person, that's what they hear about, is whether the pollutant levels are bad outdoors. Uh, you usually don't think of your home as a place where you're getting exposed to very high pollutant levels, uh, but it is because of these activities going on in your home. Things like cooking and cleaning um, and smoking all release types of pollutants into the air that you then breathe while you're at home. What especially impacts women is that many of their exposures indoors involve activities they're doing. And so they're cooking and standing close to the stove, they're cleaning and pushing the vacuum cleaner or dusting themselves. So they are actually in very close proximity to where the pollutants are being released. And because of that, their exposures are especially high. What's interesting about the home cleaning products is that many of them have pine or lemon scents to make them more pleasant. But the um, chemical that's typically added to those products to give them the pine or lemon scent reacts with ozone in air to form small particles that you then breathe while you're at home. When you buy paints, they'll tell you whether the paints are low emission or not in terms of polluting the environment. It would be really nice if these home care products that have these volatile chemicals going into the atmosphere also had the ability to get a low emissions rating so that if the public wanted to, they could pick, choose to buy the lower emission product and reduce the pollution levels in their home. If you look at a developing country like Bangladesh, um, the um, occupations are very much separated by gender um, and the women are the ones responsible for cooking each day. And that can be a very huge part of their total daily exposure to, to smoke, to particles in the air. This is true in many developing countries, including India, China, um, many countries in uh, South America, all um, have women cooking using fuels that are highly polluting. And so they're exposed to very high concentrations of pollutants while they cook. Thank you.